Want brighter, faster growing corals? The right feeding makes all the difference. While corals get some energy from light, direct feeding boosts their growth, color, and health. I am Jess, and this is Year of the Reef, episode 18, and we're breaking down the best feeding methods and foods to keep your reef thriving. Before diving into feeding techniques, it's essential to understand how corals consume food. Certain corals are filter feeders, meaning they capture tiny particles from the water column, but some corals are also active hunters, using specialized tentacles to grab larger prey. In general, corals fall into three broad categories when it comes to feeding. Photosynthetic corals. These corals rely primarily on light to generate energy through symbiotic algae called zooanthellae. However, supplemental feeding can still enhance their growth and color. Filter feeding corals. These species, including many soft corals and non-photosynthetic corals, capture microscopic plankton from the water. Carnivorous corals. Larger polyp corals often have tentacles or mouths designed to capture and digest meaty foods like shrimp and krill. With these categories in mind, let's look at the best feeding methods and food options for different types of coral. One of the simplest and most widely used feeding methods is broadcast feeding. This technique involves adding coral food directly into the aquarium water, allowing corals to naturally filter out the particles they need. This method is beneficial for all types of corals, as well as other reef inhabitants like filter feeding invertebrates, sponges, and beneficial microfauna. A significant advantage of broadcast feeding is it mimics natural reef conditions. In the wild, corals rely on ocean currents to bring them a steady supply of nutrients. In a home aquarium, broadcast feeding replicates this process, ensuring corals have access to food without requiring targeted intervention. There are two main types of broadcast foods for coral. Phytoplankton, like the Waterbox Aquarium's liquid phytoplankton, is a microscopic algae-based food that plays a crucial role in reef ecosystems. When introduced into an aquarium, phytoplankton not only feeds corals, but also supports the growth of other vital organisms, such as zooplankton and copepods, which in turn provide additional nutrition for corals and fish. Soft corals, filter feeding invertebrates, and certain SBS corals particularly benefit from regular phytoplankton feedings. Adding it to your tank on a routine basis helps maintain a healthy food chain and encourages natural biodiversity within your reef. Zooplankton, the meteor counterpart to phytoplankton, provides an essential source of protein and fatty acids for corals. Available in a powdered form with Waterbox Aquarium's Coral Superfood, zooplankton is particularly beneficial for LPS and SBS corals, which require higher protein intake. When using a powdered zooplankton food, it is best to mix it with aquarium water before adding it to the tank. This ensures a more even distribution and prevents food from clumping or settling too quickly. While broadcast feeding benefits all corals, some species require more direct feedings to thrive. Spot feeding involves using a syringe, turkey baster, or pipette to deliver food directly to a coral's mouth or tentacles. This method is particularly effective for LPS corals, as well as some SBS and soft corals that can benefit from a more controlled feeding approach. When spot feeding, it is essential to temporarily turn off your return pump and powerheads to prevent food from being swept away before the coral has a chance to consume it. This small step ensures that the coral can fully extend its polyps and capture as much food as possible before the water flow resumes. There are a handful of food options for spot feeding corals. Liquid-based coral foods such as phytoplankton and zooplankton are ideal for spot feeding soft corals and SBS corals. Some LPS corals like Ganeopora will also benefit from these smaller food particles. To spot feed, simply draw some of the food into a turkey baster or syringe and gently release it over the coral, allowing the food to settle onto its tentacles. For corals that require a meatier diet, mysa shrimp is one of the best food choices available. Most LPS corals, including acans, trachophilia, and gungans, will thrive with regular mysa shrimp feedings. Certain soft corals, such as mushrooms, also benefit from these protein-packed meals. To feed mysa shrimp, use a turkey baster or a syringe to carefully position the shrimp near the coral's mouth. Many LPS corals have specialized feeder tentacles that extend when food is detected, grabbing it onto the shrimp and pulling it in for digestion. Regular feedings of mysa shrimp can significantly accelerate coral growth and enhance their natural coloration. For particularly large LPS corals such as bubble corals and scalemia, krill provides an excellent source of nutrition. Due to its larger size, krill must be offered carefully using tongs. Simply place the krill near the coral's mouth, allowing the tentacles to pull it in. Since krill is nutrient dense, it's essential to avoid overfeeding as excessive uneaten food can negatively impact water quality. Pellets can also be a reliable food source for many LPS corals and some soft corals like mushrooms. 
These sinking pellets naturally settle onto the coral, making it easy for them to capture and ingest the food. Some pellets like Waterbox Aquarium's LPS Superfood are formulated specifically for corals, providing a balanced mix of proteins, vitamins, and essential nutrients. If you've been following along with the Year of the Reef, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. While feeding coral is an important part of maintaining a healthy reef, it's crucial to avoid overfeeding. Excess food can lead to poor water quality, resulting in increased nitrate and phosphate levels. These elevated nutrient levels can promote algae growth and harm corals by disrupting their delicate balance. To prevent these issues, monitor your water parameters regularly, ensuring that nitrate and phosphate levels remain within safe limits. If you notice an increase in nutrients, consider reducing feeding frequency or adjusting your filtration system to remove excess waste more efficiently. By incorporating Waterbox Aquarium's coral nutrition products, using a combination of broadcast and spot feeding, and offering a variety of nutrient-rich foods, you can ensure that every coral in your tank receives the nutrition it needs.